Hey guys, and welcome to the video. In case you missed the previous one, I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description. If you watched that intro in the first few minutes of it, it pretty much covers ultimately what we're doing here and what the goal is. So I'm not gonna, you know, kind of repeat myself. You can watch that, but I will do just a quick summary. So basically I'm going to be making a series of videos coming up that revolve around retro arch, being that it's at the heart of this big emulation revolution that we're going through. And they're going to cover different types of things that you can do with RetroArch and you know setting it up overall and using it and whatnot across the different platforms and systems. But first, before all of that, I decided to make these videos. These are a set of kind of preparation videos that hopefully will help you get organized and prepared to use RetroArch on whatever system or platform you plan on using it on. So basically we're gonna cover things about ROMs and ROM sets and the different types and BIOS, your databases, your cheat files, your box arts and all of that stuff and getting all of that set up and nice and organized because thanks to the way RetroArch is set up, once you have that and you've done it all you know, just once, you can literally copy and paste it not just from one system to the next, but across different platforms and systems. And just keep in mind before we get started, and I mentioned it before, that these videos here, these preparation videos along with the upcoming tutorials are all geared towards the casual gamer or the casual end user that will be using RetroArch. So while we will not be covering absolutely everything in full detail because there's just way too much to cover when it comes to emula uh, emulation, we will be giving you enough that should not only cover just the basics, but even a little bit more than that to overall help enhance and make your experience with RetroArch a better one. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and let's get started. So today we are going to be talking about arcade ROMs and ROM sets. And I know that this little video here is mainly of games on, uh, you know, home consoles and stuff, but it was the quickest thing I could find and it met the needs that I you know, needed it for just to kind of keep you entertained there for a little bit as I talk. Um, and with that in mind, this video is not going to be big on visuals. Um, so like I said before in the previous one, if you just want to put me on speaker or put me on headphones and, um, you know, go do something else while you listen, that's fine. I'm going to be putting the links of just a couple of the sites I'm going to mention down in the description. And then, you know, whenever you have time, you can go ahead and check them out. Okay, so when it comes to playing these old school retro arcade games, everybody pretty much knows that there's two emulators out there that are the best, and that's MAME and FB Alpha. But if you were looking for the answer as to which one of these is better than the other, unfortunately, I can't give that to you. And that's because really it just comes down to a matter of preference. It's on a per person type basis. You know, MAME does play a lot of the arcade games just fine but there are some that are broken or don't play at all. But on FB Alpha, they play just fine or you know, vice versa. Each one has its own ROM sets and each one has its own set of pros and cons. Absolutely the best way for you to figure out which one is better for you is just to play both. Use them and see which one you like more. But we'll come to that in a bit. Um, I need for you to go over these three questions because these three will determine your overall experience with these arcade ROMs. And the first one is how serious am I about these retro arcade games and playing them? What are the limitations of my hardware? And in reality, you can also ask yourself, what hardware am I going to be using them on? Um, but what are the limitations of it? And the last one is, what is the lowest percentage level of non-working ROMs that you're willing to tolerate? This equals your threshold. What this means is that out of every 100 ROMs, is it okay that 10 out of every 100 or so don't work? Is it okay if 30 or 40 of them don't work? Everybody has a different tolerance level. So you have to find yours. And you have to take your hardware, you know, serious. Don't think because you bought a Raspberry Pi, 
and you know it's capable of playing some main games that it's going to be equivalent to a thousand dollar pc and again how serious are you you know with these games in general because normally if you don't take this too serious then those types of people have a very low threshold in other words you know if 30 or 40 or 50 games out of every 100 play they're okay with that and as we go along we'll go ahead and we're going to come back to these questions and later on i'll give you my opinion in terms of between you know mame and fb alpha what setup would be best for you to use depending on what platform you're using retroarch on so we're going to touch base on that here in a little bit so let's move on so for all these sites we're about to go over i'll go ahead and put the link down in the description there's this fb alpha one that has uh, the latest release on there and as of the making of this video the latest release is 0 0.2.97.43 i don't know what is the deal with all those points but anyway that's how it's set up uh and it was released back in april of 2018 and if you scroll down this page you can find older releases as well as you know what was released for it um, by clicking more it tells you uh, a little bit more about that particular release and for the latest one there are a lot of things that have been done a lot of fixes and additions and yeah it's just like there's a mountain of them of course fb alpha though doesn't update as often as main so yeah you get a lot more stuff with their updates but it's because it doesn't happen as frequently um with and if you were looking for this rom set by the way it would be this is the number you would be looking for so it would be fb alpha you know rom set 0 0.2.97.43 or whatever the number is the rom set of an older one if you're going to be looking for an older one um <clears throat> if you were in for example you know retro arch and you were going to use fb alpha 2012 then you could just um, come to this you know the uh, page that shows the releases and then look for one of the releases that was uh, released obviously in the year 2012 and you can use that last one of that year and that would be the one that would go with fb alpha 2012 when it comes to mame i'll put a link in the description to the main uh, to the main main page uh, which is here and it tells you the latest release is zero point uh, 205 which was done in 26 December of 2018 so a little bit more current and uh, it also gives you some info on you know the changes and whatnot I also put a link here to the previous releases <clears throat> and main goes back all the way to February of 1997 so it's been a while and over the last couple of few years they've been releasing um an update just about like every 30 days or so um yeah so ever since it looks like about 2015 if you are in retro arch and you want to use let's say main 2016 and you're not sure about which rom set to use that's when you would come to this page you would go to the year 2016 section like right here and you can just pick the last rom set so in this case it would be 0 0.181 that was the last one that was released in 2016. If you were going to use MAME 2014 uh, uh, in, um, MAME emulator in RetroArch, you would come here to 2014, and the last one released was 0 0.157. So you would look for MAME ROM set 0 0.157. Um, 2003, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit, is very popular. And the ROM set for 2003 is 0 0.78. That's the last one that was released. And it's a very popular one and it's easy to find. One other place I'm going to leave a link for is MASH's main info world. I think that's what the site is called. Anyway, it'll bring you here to uh, this page. And the file that you're concerned with is the most updated file that they'll have here, which will be, you know, as of right now, it's main 0.2. 205 whenever you're watching this video um, you know it might be 0 0.206 0 0.210 it, it just depends when in the future you'll be watching it but you want to download the most current one and when you do it's a dot file dot dat file which you can open up with notepad plus plus 
There's over 890,000 lines containing info on here. But what you want to concern yourself really is maybe the first 750 or so. The reason why I use this one is because when it comes to main ROM sets, you can look up the ROM set and not only does it tell you the date it was released, it tells you more importantly how many games that ROM set has. And of course, these game, uh, these ROM sets keep getting bigger and bigger with every release. So since main um, 0.78, is a popular uh, ROM set people look for because of MAME 2003. If you come here to the release of it, you'll see that there's 4,705 games for that ROM set. If you were looking at the most recent release, which is 0 0.205, down here you would see it has 32,362 games with that ROM set. Of course, a lot of that might be fluff and stuff, and I'll show you in an upcoming video how to trim the fat. But yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I use it. And all of this is official, so you get actual numbers here. So you may already know that when it comes to arcade ROM sets, there's a few different types out there. In the last video, we talked about console ROM sets and how for those you would look for the no intro ones. Well, here for these arcade games, these ROM sets, there are basically three types. There's a non-merged ROM set, a split ROM set, and a merged ROM set. So I'm going to leave you in the description the link here to this site and if you scroll down a bit, they pretty much explain it, um, you know, short, sweet, and to the point. But what you want to know is that RetroArch wants you to use merged ROM sets. So when you're looking for these arcade ROMs, make sure you look for a merged ROM set. Um, it's the most efficient one out there. This is what the scene has evolved to. It takes up the less space and no, you're not going to be missing out on a whole bunch of games or sacrifice performance or anything like that uh, compared to a split or a non-merged. And whenever you're looking for a particular ROM set, just throw the merge, the word merged into your search. So if you were looking for main 0.78 ROM set, throw the word merged at the end. So 0.78 main ROM set merged. For FB Alpha, FB Alpha 0.2.29.42 ROM set merged. So as long as you throw the word merged on there with whatever number of ROM set it is you're looking for, then you should uh, find it fairly easy because merged sets have become what pretty much everybody uses. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up here by just touching base a little bit on a few things that are going to cover the questions that I asked you to ask yourself earlier and by me giving you some, you know, recommendations in terms of FB Alpha and MAME. So if you're serious about these retro arcade games and you want to play the absolute most current ROM sets that have the most fixes and the most games and the most add-ons or whatever, then seriously, the way to go is through a PC. And at that, it has to be a higher end PC or a Mac because pretty much anything outside of the PC environment isn't going to run anything super current or at least run it effectively with a high rate of success on the ROMs. Is it possible that you can install MAME 2014 or MAME 2016, uh, you know, that's in RetroArch into your Raspberry Pi, into your Switch, into your Nvidia Shield or Android device or whatever? Yeah, sure, you can install them in those platforms. The problem is since they're newer and more current, they're not gonna play. Um, you know, with a high level of success, maybe out of every hundred games, 30 or 40 or 60 or 70 might play, depending on what system you're using it on. But then you're going to have 30, 40, 60 or 70 games that don't. So it depends on your hardware. The weaker the hardware is or the less capable it is, the further back you have to go. The, the older the emulator you have to use or the core and the older the ROM set. It's pretty much... Um, you know, been accepted that across many platforms, MAME 2003 has a high level of success. This means that on PS3, 
MAME 2003 has like a 90% success rate with the ROMs. So about 90 out of every 100 ROMs will work. Same on the Switch, same on the Invita Shield, and in your Raspberry Pi. It's older, it has lesser games, but if you want something that's, you know, maybe portable, easy to set up, play with friends on the go or whatever, then that might be perfect for you. That's the way I have it set up outside of my PC, and I use FB Alpha 2012 for my Neo Geo ROM set, and Neo Geo ROM set is only like 150, 170 games or so anyway. Um, but again, if you want to, you know, play something effectively with a high level of success, then, um, and, and that's current, it's gonna have to be on a PC in a higher end one. And that's just how it is, guys. So it all boils down to how serious you are, your hardware, and what, you know, the level of success of ROMs that you're willing to accept. It's 80% okay, is 90% okay for you, it's just 30 or 40% okay for you. It just depends, it really is up to you. So that's pretty much it, that's all I got. Sorry the video was so long. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, guys. And on the next one, we're gonna be covering BIOS, as well as cleaning up these ROM sets, trimming the fat off of them, and getting rid of all that extra fluff and stuff that you might not need. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care.